Hello friends and welcome to Art in Maker class. Today we'll be drawing a skyscraper. You can use any type of paper that you can find. It can be drawing paper, notebook paper, or even an envelope. To draw, you can use a pencil, a pen, crayons, or a marker. All right, let's get started. All right, friends, let's start drawing our skyscrapers. Now let's take a look at our example. Now what shapes are the skyscrapers? Are they circles? No. Triangles? No. They're rectangles. And how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have three in the front or the foreground. We have two in the middle ground and one in the background. All right. So we go, we'll start with the three in the foreground, okay? The smaller ones. I'm gonna draw our three rectangles. I'm gonna put a line going up, and then another line going up, and then one going all the way across. So that's one building. We'll put, a, we'll put another building right next to it. Maybe this one will be a little taller. One, two, three lines, and I'll do a smaller one over here. All right, we have our three buildings in the front or the foreground. Let's add a door on each of these buildings. All right, our three buildings all have doors. Now we can go ahead and add some windows. Now, boys and girls, what do you know about skyscrapers? What do you know about skyscrapers? Are they little buildings? No, skyscrapers are very tall buildings. So here I'm adding some windows. You can add as many windows as you would like to your skyscrapers. Now, have you ever seen a skyscraper? Maybe you live in a skyscraper. We have skyscrapers here in Boston. We have the Prudential Building, the Hancock Building. All right, continue adding the windows for your buildings. All right, now we're gonna to get to some really tall buildings. We have two buildings in the middle. And to start that first building, we're gonna start right in the middle of this building and go and, build and draw our line going up and stop about halfway up your paper. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna draw another line right above this building in the middle. Just take that line and go up and stop. So you have two lines. Now we need to connect those lines with a horizontal line going straight across. All right, that's our building on the left. Now we're gonna go ahead and draw the building on the right. I'm gonna take this line, I'm gonna draw this line going up and I'll stop right about there. And then I need to draw the other side of the building. So I will come on right on top of this building here and go up and then stop when it's even with the line next to it. Now we need to connect them, right? 
So just draw that straight line across, that horizontal line, right across. All right, we're not gonna do the windows yet. We're gonna go ahead and draw our giant skyscraper. This is the really tall building, right in the middle. Now for this building, we're gonna take our line, our first line, start it right at the top, go all the way up, and then the other side, that line, we'll start it right over here on top of this building. It's actually in back of the building, way in back, in the background. Now we're gonna connect those lines with our horizontal line going all the way across. Okay, now let's take a look at our example. Now, what's going on with these buildings? They look a little unusual, huh? What do you see? You see some windows, but these buildings have silly faces. Yeah, I think it would be fun to add some silly faces to our buildings. So let's go ahead and add some crazy, goofy, kooky faces to these skyscrapers. Now, I'm gonna start off adding some eyes, some circles, maybe add a nose down here, and a smile. Maybe this skyscraper's got some teeth. Don't forget your pupil. Come over to this building, and we'll do a different type of face over here. Draw some eyes. Maybe this building has some eyelashes. And we'll draw our building's nose, and a big smile for the building. Now our giant skyscraper all the way at the top here. Now this skyscraper is gonna be looking over here to the right, so I'm gonna put the pupil looking in that direction. Maybe this skyscraper's got some eyebrows. Give him a big nose. And I'm going to give this skyscraper a squiggly smile. All right, now I can add some windows. And I'm gonna put the windows around my silly faces. You can add as many windows as you'd like. Some large, some small. up here and add some windows to our giant skyscraper. All right. Now for the sky, if you'd like, you can add some clouds. You can add a sun in the corner if you'd like. All right, now we're going to start adding some color to our skyscrapers. You can use any colors that you would like to use. All right, friends. Thank you for following along on how to draw a skyscraper today. I hope to see your skyscraper soon. Have a great day.